to the jetty. Welcome everybody to the 2023 BuildWit Roadshow. 34 days, 11,000 miles, 27 US states, and three jabronis. So buckle up, because you're coming with us. Hello everybody, welcome to day 15 of the BuildWit Roadshow. Um, as you can see, it's cold, it's wet today. We're out here just outside of Astoria, Oregon. On that is the Pacific Ocean. That is the Columbia River on the south jetty of the jetty system here for the Columbia River as it meets the Pacific Ocean. We're here with J.E. McAmis, a large marine contractor based out of California, and they are basically rehabilitating this jetty that was started in the 1800s, completed in the early 1900s, and has spent the past century plus getting pounded by mother nature. That pounding has created a lot of erosion. So Jay McCamus is bringing in over 400,000 tons of jetty stones, ranging from 10 to 40 tons each and placing them with this remarkable custom Cat 6020B with a Pierce Pacific stick and boom on it, giving it almost 100 feet of reach. The machine is from Peterson Cat. This is one of the most unique job site locations in the entire United States, and I am very happy to be here. The last time I was here was fall of 21. We can mix some footage in, hopefully, from that video in here. But now here we are. This jetty is extremely important. The jetty system here is extremely important. What it does is twofold. It channels the water coming off of the Columbia River into the Pacific and naturally dredges the channel, keeping it open for shipping traffic. This is a really, really important economic corridor. They have to keep that shipping channel open. So the Army Corps has invested a lot of money in rebuilding and maintaining these jetties. Right now, the water's pretty calm, but they can only work in the summer. They wrap up in typically October and start again in May because the storm surges are typically, the waves can be 30 feet plus. This road, they said, in one tide will completely go away if they start too early. And then they have to rebuild the entirety of the road and start all over again. So they only do this in the summer months, uh, which doesn't give them a lot of time, meaning they have just those those windows within each season to get as much rock placed as possible. Every single rock is placed very specifically. So you'll notice he will be moving around the existing rocks to see what he's working with to make sure they're all situated perfectly. And then he'll be moving the new rocks around, seeing what shapes he's working with. And we'll take those rocks with that bucket, that thumb, grab onto them, and then work them into the existing structure to make sure those rocks are locked together so that as they're pounded by the waves, they don't move. A 40 ton rock is a big, big rock and takes a big machine to move, but that's nothing compared to the power of the ocean. So every single rock needs to be locked in there as tightly as possible. This is basically an enormous puzzle and that's a very, very skilled position. So you'll notice that every single rock has a number painted on it 
That is the weight of the stone. We're gonna go up in the cab and see what it takes to place these stones. The machine is running Trimble GPS, so this is all built to its specific design. They're basically, the say the jetty's eroded like this, they're bringing it back to what it should be like per a specific design, per a specific slope. Uh, I think our Uber's arriving. It's a yellow cat. Yep. I think. So. Are you our Uber? Come on in. Take the plane back to the mainland. 